What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's Destiny video I bundled up a few interesting topics about some new weapons we should be seeing in the Tekken King. In case you guys don't know when the Tekken King comes out, it comes out September 15, 2015. Before I get started with this, if you could, please remember to help support by liking and or sharing the video. It's much appreciated by your old rifle. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump on into this. I will have links in the description to further my proof of everything that I am speaking about in this video. Just to let you know, it is all legit over everything I'm saying. To start this off, One Sexy Potato is coming out with the Tekken King, and it's supposed to be the new competition to the Gallowhorn. This new potato is a fusion rifle. Yes, that's right. A fusion rifle, guys. I know I didn't see that one coming either. But anyways, I made a video about this in the past talking about this weapon. And my guess on the weapon was actually it was a sniper rifle. Well, turns out my nipples need a readjustment because I was wrong. This sexy potato, otherwise known as the sleeper simulate, is a heavy fusion rifle weapon. Never seen one of those and never thought I would ever see one of those. Todd, have I gone mad? I'm afraid so, you are entirely bonkers, but I'll tell you a secret, all the best people are. Anyways, the perks on this fusion rifle, let's take a closer look at this sleeper simulant and the upgrade path that it has. First off, it has the intrinsic properties, and what this perk does, it says projectiles over penetrates enemies and will ricochet once. So hey, that's pretty nice, so after it penetrates an enemy, it will then ricochet off something. And also it says projectile capable of dealing precision damage. And I'm not exactly sure on how much the precision damage is going to be, but I'm guessing quite a lot since this is supposed to be the new competition to the Gallowhorn. I mean, it doesn't have the wolf pack rounds and whatnot, but I guess we're going to have to wait and find out how this actually plays out. Anyways, for the barrel column upgrades on this bad boy, it has the CQB ballistics, which what that does is it gives you bonus to stability. It also has linear compensator, which what that does is it gives bonus to range, straighter recoil, bonus to impact, but it reduces the stability. And for the final barrel, it has accurized ballistics, which this is a great barrel to go with. It gives a bonus to range, bonus to impact, and better target acquisition. But this also does reduce the stability, so that isn't always a good thing. Anyways, up next for the support perk, which is called Just a Scratch, which what this does is reduces aim deflection on incoming rounds while you're aiming with the weapon. Helps the wielder stay on target during the long charge up. So that's a pretty good perk to have with a fusion rifle. And for the stat upgrades, it has speed reload, perfect balance, and single point sling. And in case you guys don't know what these perks do, speed reload gives you a faster reload speed, perfect balance gives you better stability, and single point sling helps you ready the weapon faster. And also, you move faster while aiming. I think the best upgrade to go with out of these three is the perfect balance just because of the reduced ability out of the accurized ballistics if you end up going with that barrel. Anyways, lastly but certainly not least, the exotic perk on the sleeper simulate is called Final Name TBD. And what this does is it increases the bounce count of projectile to five. So that's pretty interesting. The projectiles are going to be bouncing everywhere and I kind of wonder if it hits an enemy. Is that going to be able to kill an enemy immediately? Is it going to be just a one shot? I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the PvP world since this is going to be a heavy weapon. So I guess this is going to be pretty interesting to see how this all plays out. I mean imagine just a projectile shooting through an enemy and bouncing everywhere off the walls and actually going through another enemy. And then, I don't know, just like an infinity effect in a way. That would be crazy to see. Especially if your whole squad got one of these. Oh gosh, they'd be bouncing everywhere. Anyways, yeah, that's the review of the Sleeper Simulant. You guys can kind of see how it's going to be playing out with the perks that I went over. But anyway, something also I wanted to go over about this weapon. What if, since they say this weapon is going to be very valuable in the Taken King, I mean, what if we have to use this weapon in the Dreadnought raid? Like, since it bounces so many times, what if you have to, like, hit certain things around the walls or something. I mean, the developers did say there's going to be some new puzzles and some things that we shouldn't really be able to figure out at first, so maybe that could be something that this exotic actually helps out with. I mean, it's just a guess. I was just throwing out an idea. Anyways, that's about enough of the sleeper simulate. I know it's one sexy potato, and we could talk all day about this bad boy and how it's going to be. I know some of you guys might be disappointed, like, well, this weapon sounds like it's shit. Well, it might not be, guys. Can't judge it right now, you can't. And so you actually get to play with it and find out. In my opinion, it is one sexy potato. Anyways, let's go on to some other interesting weapons we should be seeing in the Tekken King. This is going to be some news to a lot of you guys and some very exciting news. There will be a sword. I actually saw a sword in this new gameplay and it seems to play out like the swords did in the Halos. 
and I've only seen a warlock with it at the moment, and not to mention it had arc damage. So I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what, but the reason I say it plays out like the sword in Halo does is because it has a certain number next to it, and that certain number is indicating how much energy it has until it runs out. So I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to attack with it for a certain amount of time until the sword ends up depleting once you completely run out of that energy number. Most of you guys should know how that works by the Halos. Anyways, this was actually leaked by Game Informer's video. They have actual footage with it in the inventory, but unfortunately there was no actual gameplay with it though, like playing and swinging with it, sadly. And when I say inventory, this sword was actually located in a heavy inventory slot, so I know it's going to be also considered a heavy weapon. Anyway, something else that was leaked in Game Informer's video that's pretty exciting about the Tekken King was they were playing with a Thunderlord. Except imagine the Thunderlord on fire. Like this, and this, and a little bit of this. Oh yeah, that's right guys, it looks as if we'll be seeing a Fire Lord to play around with now. I mean, it is literally a Thunderlord model, except the only difference is it does solar damage instead of arc, and it's on fire. Freaking awesome weapon soon to come guys, but out of the three that I went over in this video, which one sparked your interest the most? I have to say, it's pretty hard to choose for me, but what managed to grab my attention the most, actually, is the new Sleeper Simulant soon to come. Just because it's supposed to be the new best heavy where everyone will be using it, just like for the people who use the Gala one. Question is, will people be using the Sleeper more than the Galley? I guess I'll have to wait and find out if that actually is true. But like I said before, we could have to use it for a certain puzzle in the Dreadnought Raid. I mean, it's just a guess. Since it does add 5 extra bounce shots, you never know what those bounce shots could actually bounce to. I mean, it could be something that we have to activate with the gun. I mean, it is a far-fetched guess, but you never know. It's just a thought. But yeah, guys, that's all the information I have for you all in this video, though. Hopefully it was informative and at the same time enjoyable for you guys. As always, if you could, take a wee bit of your time and leave a like on the video. It is much appreciated, everyone. But I'm out of here, though. Remember to stay safe, everybody, and don't sleep in pee. Peace out! Thank you.